the secret lab! Today's pile of cards is... Wait, wait a minute. What's that out in the tall grass? Uh-oh. Oh no, it can't be. No, no, it's Peter Pan with the steel chair! <laughs> Let's make a deck with as many evasive characters as we can! Right now there are two in Emerald, Peter Pan Never Landing, and Genie on the Job, and two in Ruby, Goofy Daredevil, and Tigger Wonderful Thing. We want to control when challenges get to happen and get lots of yummy, yummy lore along the way. These colors also have some decent control tools, and Ruby lets us run some sweet, sweet lore stealing in case our opponent gets out ahead of us. The main weakness to this deck is there is no draw whatsoever in these colors so far, so we'll need to top deck like gods. First off, there ain't much on the lower end for these colors right now, so we'll basically run everything. Sergeant Tibbs, Courageous Cat, Donald Duck, Boisterous Fowl, Corella DeVille, Miserable as usual, and Aladdin Prince Ali, who is also useful as a shift target for my favorite card of the game so far, Aladdin Heroic Outlaw. You don't need to ramp into him if you can get him out for five with dry ink. Getting out Heroic Outlaw able to immediately challenge can often catch people by surprise, so I would recommend not questing with Prince Ali, who has Ward anyway to protect him from targeted removal, unless you're sure he won't die. In the middle, we've got the usual green good stuff, Iago Loudmouth Parrot, and Cheshire Cat not all there. At three, we also have our first evasive, Peter Pan, who will mostly be for questing. The only things he should be challenging into are Pascals. Then at the upper end, we have our removal tools, Dragonfire, Beast Wolfsbane, and also Genie, who, along with Goofy and Tigger, make up our remaining evasives. To round it out, we'll run Mulan, Imperial Soldier, and Rapunzel letting down her hair to get as wide a lore gap as possible. Now, this is a fair chunk of uninkable cards, but our curve is fairly low. There's only one card that costs more than six, and most of the time you'll want to shift him out anyway. If you find yourself having ink troubles, maybe drop a copy or two each of Beast and Rapunzel, and slot in either Jumba Jukaba or Scarfiery Usurper. The idea is your characters are hard to get rid of, while you have a number of tools to deal with whatever your opponent plays. With the evasives on the board, you can safely quest without fear of challenges, and if you start getting behind, Aladdin and Rapunzel can catch you back up. I'm hoping that these two colors both get get more evasives and also more lore stealing. Hopefully this deck just gets better and better as more cards get revealed.